The world is veiled in darkness. The wind stops. The sea is wild and the earth begins to rot. The people wait. Their only hope, a prophecy. When the world is in darkness, four warriors will come. After a long journey, four young warriors arrive, each holding an orb. Hey guys, welcome to Retro Peace Theater. Devin here. We're going to be playing one of my favorite games of all time, Final Fantasy for the original Nintendo. Now, when you first turn the game on, this is the very first thing you see, the splash screen with a little bit of backstory. So let's get going here. You've got two options, continue and new game. Now, you see down at the bottom where it says respond rate, we're actually going to set that to 8. And what that does is it changes the text speed of the game so that you don't have to take forever for it to load and, and watch it. And we're here we go, we're going to go new game. Alright, so you get to choose what characters you want, the four warriors here with the light orbs. And these are your options. You have Fighter, Thief, Black Belt, Red Mage, White Mage, and Black Mage. Now, I'm going to play with probably the easiest team to play through the game with, and one of my personal favorite teams. So we're going to start with a Fighter as my, as my lead. Whichever character is in the lead um, is actually the character that usually gets attacked most. Um, but you can change the order later on if you like. But we're going to start with a fighter, and we're going to name my fighter Narf. Narf, my fighter. And then we're actually going to have a thief as character number two, so we're going to name my thief Carl. And now I've got three mage options. I've got a red mage, white mage, and a black mage. And I actually... the red mage... here's the difference between them. The white mage uses white magic, which is mostly holy magic, cure, heal, things like that. Black mage is mostly all destructive. Now, red mage is a mix. Red mage can be a fighter. Red mage can use white magic. He can use black magic. However, he cannot use all black magic, and he cannot use all white magic. I like to have both. So we're going to have a white mage, because especially when the white mage gets higher level, the white mage gets some really awesome magic. Now, there's some debate as if White Mage is a girl, if White Mage is a guy. I'm going to go with White Mage being a girl, and we're going to name her Sarah. And then we're going to go with a Black Mage. Um, we're going to name the Black Mage... Let's name the Black Mage Toby. Toby, my Black Mage. Okay, and that's it. And now we are ready to adventure and quest into the world of Final Fantasy. Here we go. And here we are. We start out on the overworld. Um... This isn't the first game by any means, there were several before, but this is one of the more popular games that uses this overworld feature. Uh, and, it, and it really is a very open world kind of game. You can go into areas long before you're ready to, uh, but the monsters in those areas will be a lot stronger and you will get absolutely destroyed. Um, if I were to go wandering through these tree areas over here, I will generate random encounters. However, I do not want to do that because right now we have no weapons. Um, so we're going to go into the town, we're going to get some weapons. And here we are. And all the towns are very pretty similar. They all have the same basic shops. They all have the same, same basic needs. They did throw some funny things into the game. Like, for example, if you look into the fountain. See your face upon the clean water. How dirty. Come, wash your face. Who's talking to you? I have no idea. So you've got the inn down there. And the inn is where you want to go if you want to heal up and save your game. Now there's two options for healing and saving in this. Option one, you go to the inn. You heal up, you save. You pay some money, there you go. Option two is if you have a tent or a cabin, you can save and heal on the overworld. Um, but that's it, those are your only options for, for healing and saving outside of using using potions. But if you want to save, those are your two options. So this is the item shop, and then up here we have the cleric. Now the cleric is important because if you have a character die in battle, uh, the only way to revive them is to go back to a town that has a cleric and go in, you pay some money, and he gets revived, and it actually is kind of quite costly, so um, that's why I wanted to have my white mage. White mage has cure magic, plus the use of potions. You can you can really do some good, and and do your best to keep people from dying because it does get really expensive, especially as we go later in the game and go to some of the other towns. It gets pretty pricey. And then you've got four other shops that pretty much every town has. You've got white magic. This is black magic, and then we've got armors, the armory and we've got weapons now. We're going to stock up. The game gives you 400 gold to start. Uh, we're gonna buy some weapons for my guys. So we got a rapier that we're gonna buy for our Narf, my fighter. We're gonna buy a rapier 
for Carl, my thief. Now, for those of you who may not know, rapier is not as rude as it sounds. A rapier is a type of sword. So, there, you learned something. Uh, we're going to buy the iron hammer for my white mage, Sarah. And we're going to buy the small dagger for my black mage, Toby. And while it is actually one of the weakest weapons, it's one of the strongest weapons he can actually use. Um, because the black mage does rely so heavily on offensive spells, especially as you get later in the game. Uh, and that's it. So we're going to leave. Now we're going to buy some armor. Um, I'm going to buy some chain armor for my fighter. And Carl, my thief, cannot wear chain armor, so we're going to go with wooden armor. And I would, I'd kind of like to see what wooden armor looks like. I wonder how effective that would be. I hope he doesn't wear it next to a fireplace. Um, now the mages, all they can wear is cloth armor. But it's better than nothing, so we are going to buy cloth armor for both of my mages. And that's it. It leaves us with 215 gold. Now you can have the best weapons in the game, you can have the best armor in the game. None of that matters if you don't equip it. So let's see here. We have, we're going to go to weapon, we're going to go equip, and you got to go down. And if this E is not next to it, then you are going to go into combat with no weapons. And you will attempt to fight hand to hand, and only the black belt is any good at that. And uh, you still want to give him a weapon. So there, now our weapons and armor are equipped. When we go into battle, we will automatically use them. And we're going to get some magic. So Sarah is the only person who can use white magic right now, so we're going to get Cure, which is basically um, your heal spell. It's a low-level spell, but it's better than nothing. And then for Toby, um, there's two that I want. I can only afford one right now, so I'm going to come back and get the other one later, is Lightning and Fire. We're going to take Fire right now. Um, and that's it. No, you don't have to equip the magic. It automatically is goes to the mage once you buy it. And that's all we're going to do here. And you can talk to the townspeople. They don't really say anything of any interest. A lot of them will say the exact same things. For the sake of time, uh, through this playthrough, I'm not going to talk to everybody. Uh, there's a few people I'll talk to just because they say funny stuff. But for the most part, I'm not going to. Um, now, we could go up and go into the castle and continue the story, but before we do, I'm going to do some leveling. Uh, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to wander around in the grassy area and we'll get some random encounters here. Here we go, we've got some imps. Now, here you can see I'm uh, assigning people to fight. Um, if you assign two people to one character, or two people to one enemy and that enemy dies before the second character has a chance to attack, um, the game will actually think you're attacking a blank space and it will completely miss. Well, let me show you what I mean. I'm going to put two people fighting that one imp right here and then I'm going to put my mages on the other. Now most likely that one imp is going to die before the other person has a chance to attack it. So let's see here. This is a good example. So the white mage tried to attack that imp and there was nothing there so the game said it was ineffective. In later Final Fantasy games, if you did that, you put two, enemy, two characters on one enemy and the enemy died before the second character had a chance to attack, the game would automatically have you attack the next monster. That was not something programmed into this, so you do have to take a little bit of strategy into account. And there we got six experience, 24 gold. Uh, this game, there's two means of getting um, gold. You either get it through combat or you get it in monsters chambers. So I'm going to be going for level two here and pretty much all of the enemies in this area are imps and so um, you're, you're, I'm going to be doing this quite a bit until I get to level two. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here so you don't just watch me battle endlessly on and on and on and we will pick up next episode. I will be level two and we will continue on with our story. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you like, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, thanks guys.